Here we have a very common retirement problem. And so the idea here is uh, you've got um, you or a client or someone who's going to make a regular deposit into some account. It's going to earn uh, some expected return over time. And then at the end of some series, and here it's going to be 42 years, so this would be like approximately a working life, um, you're, you're going to look and see how much money that you have uh, for uh, the retirement. And so in this case, the deposit's going to be $9,000. It's going to be 42 of these. Um, and the first one will happen one year from today. So let's go ahead and write a quick timeline to describe what's going on. There's our series of payments. Now, we know that uh, we've got um, a discount rate here of 10%. And what are we looking for? We're looking for the amount that you have in the account immediately after the final payment. All right, so we're looking for an FV at time 42. Now, if we just gl glance at this, this timeline, what we see is uh, we have an annuity, and the first payment is at time 1, and the final payment is at time 42. So this is a 42 period annuity. Everything is uh, set up in the ordinary fashion, right? The first payment is one period after today. So all of our standard formulas and our uh, out-of-the-box financial calculator tools will work. And so what do we need to do? We need to find the future value of this annuity. Now you can do that with your tool of choice. I am going to use my financial calculator here. All right, so let's go through the keystrokes. Um, so first of all, um, I have nothing happening at time zero, so I'm going to put zero as PV. $9,000 is my payment, so that's going into PMT. There are 42 payments, so 42 goes into N. My discount rate is 10%, so I enter that as 10, not 0.1, I enter it as 10, so 10 goes into I. And now all I need to do is compute the future value. So compute FV. All right, so there is my answer. And now remember, this is going to show up as a negative sign because of the sign convention in my calculator. My payments are going to be inflows. The future value is an outflow. All right, so when you're actually reporting this answer, though, of course, you want to report it as a positive number, right? You want to report it as a positive number, so you'd report four million eight hundred thirty eight thousand seven hundred thirty two dollars and ninety three cents.